Hello my lovely honeybees. I hope you've had a lovely day in the sunshine. I'm going to read you a story tonight called Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell. Norman the Slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman. Look at them. They're amazing. But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. Whee! Crash! Norman, you silly slug, they cried. You've spoilt our fun. This only works if you've got a shell. Norman felt left out. Sadly, he sculpted off into the moonlight. If only I had a shell of my own, he said, looking at his reflection. And that's when he had an idea. <gasps> Maybe I could have a shell after all, he thought. But finding a shell was not as easy as it seemed. One was too bouncy. One was too noisy and one was already taken. Norman needed time to think. Ta-da! A shell! Can you tell what it is, honeybees, that he's using? It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. He could join the snails at last. Norman loved being a snail and the snail loved Norman's silly shell. But the fun didn't last for long. Suddenly there was a loud flapping of wings. Look out, bird, cried the snails in panic. Quick, slither for your lives or we'll end up as supper. But the bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Norman was being carried up, up and away, higher and higher into the sky. What could he do? Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime. Lots and lots of slime. And with a slither and a slother, a slip and a slide, Norman was free. But he was falling faster and faster and faster until... <gasps> Plonk! Norman, Norman, are you okay? Asked the snails. Wow, said Norman. That was great. I love flying. If only I had wings. Uh-oh. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Can you see what Norman has taken off the washing line to use as wings? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, honeybees. And I hope you have a really lovely weekend. And I will read you another story very soon. Lots of love. Bye.